a first class lip balm oh yeah this is my go-to anytime any day it is my holy grail <music> you are doing welcome to skin glow beauty castle and if this happens to be your first time stopping by this channel you are welcome to a beautiful channel you are going to be addicted to no jokes so here on this channel we'll talk about skincare beauty lifestyle we do DIY creations we do practical skincare formulations we give our honest reviews on skincare products and the most interesting part is with dish out quality sellable skincare recipes oh yeah i mean recipes that will fetch you rubber so if that sounds like what you're interested in do not go anywhere stick to this channel subscribe turn on your notification bell so that you will get first end information and notification when i post a new video so today i'm very very excited i am going to be showing you beauties how to make a first class lip balm oh yeah this is my go-to anytime any day it is my holy grail so if you want to learn how to formulate this lip balm that went to Harvard <laughs> what are you waiting for come with me to my formulating table and let's get it done so first of all we're going to be using our mango butter it is highly hydrating and has a non greasy texture so next we have our beeswax and this contains natural emulsifiers that helps to retain moisture. Next we have our cocoa butter. This is amazing for the lips. It leaves it softer and plumper and it equally has a protective and hydrating layer to the lips. So next we're going to be introducing to you the oils we're going to be using for this. So first we're going to be using our grapeseed oil. And grapeseed oil helps the collagen in your lips to stay healthy and even get it restored. So it is very, very important for this. And we're going to be using 11 grams of our grapeseed oil. 11 grams of grapeseed oil is what we're going to be using in this recipe. So make sure you don't just pour it into your product. Make sure you take accurate measurements. So next we're using our jojoba oil. Jojoba oil nourishes and helps to heal dry and chapped lips. So it is very important in this formulation. And we're going to be using 10 grams of our jojoba oil. So next we're going to be using our sunflower oil sunflower oil helps to make the lip soft and it suits the lip as well at the same time the antioxidant properties of organic sunflower oil can help in preventing premature signs of aging around the lips so it is very important and we're going to be using 10 grams of our sunflower oil 10 grams so next we are going to be using our almond oil Almond oil is very necessary because the emollient property of almond oil helps to keep the lips soft and smooth. It also suits and moisturizes the lips. It lightens dark lips and removes dark spots and evens out the skin color. That's the lip skin color, so it's very, very important. So these are oils. So now we're going to be putting everything together our oils our waxes our butters everything together please time the only permit me so do well to check out the benefits of these butters and these oils they are really really great for your skin very great for the lips as well so we'll be putting in our wax our beeswax into the oils as well and next would be our cocoa butter so all of this we're going to be doing it a double boiler method and when it's very well dissolved we are going to be back so we'll continue from there so let's go ahead and dissolve this we'll be right back so here we have our oils and borders fully melted and dissolved 
So now we're going to be adding in other things. We have our vitamin E oil, nine grams of our vitamin E oil. We have one gram of our watermelon flavor oil, and we equally have one gram of our lavender essential oil. These oils are great for the lips. Vitamin E helps to keep your lips healthy and protects it from UV rays, which tends to make the lips dark. We have the lavender essential oil that has antioxidants that battles signs of premature aging around the lips. So next, we'll be adding in our mica powder for the beautiful color we want. So whatever kind of mica powder you choose to use, it's fine. You can use even food coloring as well, edible food coloring if you like. So I choose to use mica powder because I love how beautiful it dissolves and it has this little shimmer to it as well. So I'm stirring and mixing it very well. And next we're going to be pouring it into our bomb containers. You can use a chapstick container if you have the, the type you have to roll upwards. So you can use that. So I'm going to pour this into our containers. And when it is completely solidified, we're going to show you exactly what it looks like. You have to be careful while pouring it so you don't spill it. Now you see it is solidified. It looks so, so beautiful. So, so amazing. You are going to love this. This smells amazing. It smells wonderful, beautiful. It is so, so yummy. I feel like eating it, but well, please do not eat it, okay? It's not food. And you can see how this glides and smoothly. And if you're suffering from dry, chapped, or cracked lips, this is the best bum for you. So please do well to like, to share, subscribe, and be good. See you in my next video.